that's <coughs> ISO. Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the game, we taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my post is saying now. Happy New Year. This is John, one half of your cigar advisors. Um, and today is the first mini sode of the new year. Um, as you could probably tell from my voice, uh, I've been kind of under the weather, which is the reason why both me and Matt haven't uh, recorded a new episode this year. We're both, uh, because of the holidays, and we both got sick. Um, taking a little break in order to recover so we can bring you um, new content for the new year. So um, in this mini minisode, I figured to tide you over, I'm actually feeling a little bit better, even though my voice sounds pretty raspy. Um, decided to do a mini minisode. Um, as you know, uh, Matt loves bourbon. Um, as from his his own mini sode and um from listening to my podcast you obviously know that i'm really into cocktails uh, the thing is though the only cocktail stuff that i have ever kept at my home is stuff to make whiskey sours which is one of my favorite cocktails um but i wanted to start expanding my own bar at home. That way I could start making cocktails at home, specifically uh, the cocktails that I like to drink. Now, um, so what I decided to do was kind of go through um, exactly what my home bar setup looks like now. My home bar may look different from yours at home. And um, I think that when you start your own home bar, that you could start spending a lot, a lot of money trying to get all the spirits you need, all the, um, all the extra stuff that you need for a home bar. And, you know, you can, you can end up spending like, a thousand bucks if you wanted to get everything to make sure to make every drink. But that's not really cost effective for most people, me, myself included. So um, what I recommend that you do if you are trying to start your own home bar is to really hone in on a couple of cocktails that focus on one spirit. Um, you know, whether that be a bourbon, a rye, a gin, a vodka, um, start with that one spirit and then buy modifiers to make different cocktails. For example, um, with bourbon alone, I mean, I could think of like 10 cocktails off the top of my head that you could make. I mean, julep. Old fashioned, whiskey sour, Belvedere, like it, it ranges. So if you're trying to be cost effective, um, I recommend that you start your home bar by buying a bottle of spirit and then modifiers that go around that spirit to make different cocktails from that one bottle. Um, so I'm actually going to take you through what I bought because uh, this past Christmas I got a $100 Amex gift card and um, I decided to use that gift card to expand my home bar um, to make drinks beyond a whiskey sour. Um, if you don't know, I'm really into classic cocktails, um, you know, like prohibition age cocktails, stuff like that. So like I said, old fashions, um, whiskey sours, 
uh, Manhattans, Gin Fizzes, Tom Collins, um, Daiquiris, things of that nature. So I took that $100. I went to my local Total Wine and um, ended up buying a couple of spirits and a couple of modifiers uh, in addition to adding to the stuff that I already have at home. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, some of the tools that I have that I recently purchased. Um, if you are in the know, there is a company called Barfly that makes relatively affordable bar tools. Um, for me and the cocktails that I'm going to make, I uh, ended up getting a small cocktail set um, and it includes uh, five things. It's a five piece cocktail set. So you're going to need a jigger to measure your alcohol. This is a Japanese style jigger. It's nicely weighted. It includes a bar spoon. Um, it includes a Hawthorne strainer and a small and large shaking tin. which is weighted on both sides. So those are the tools that I bought myself this past Christmas from Barfly. I spent around $35. It was on sale. Um, and like I said, they make relatively inexpensive bar material. Um, a couple of things that I am missing from my set would be a... Um, a mixing glass. I don't have a mixing glass. Um, and if you hear squeaking in the background, that is my dog. Um, we have a puppy, Corgi, and he likes to play with his squeaky toys. So, um, and the only alcohols that I currently had prior to going to, um, to uh, Total Wine today was I have some Appleton Estate. Jamaican rum, their signature. Um, I use this uh, when I make coquito during the year. Um, you know, you're supposed to typically use Puerto Rican rum, um, like Don Q or something like that. But um, I like the way that Jamaican rum, specifically Appleton Estate, tastes in coquito. It gives it a little extra punch. Uh, and to make the whiskey sours that I am so fond of, um, I did get a small bottle of one of my favorite Irish whiskeys, Tullamore Dew, um, which this is one of my favorite Irish whiskeys alongside Jameson. So that's all the stuff that I had on hand, you know, like when you're making, when you're starting your home bar, you know, you want to have obviously like fresh citrus, like lemons and limes. You want to have a peeler. Um, you want to have a, a juicer, a handheld juicer. Those are things that you should already have. So like the bar tools and stuff like that, you know, that's in addition. I do have some simple syrup because a lot of the, uh, the cocktails call for simple syrup. So we're gonna go into what I got at Total Wine today. So first off, we are starting with uh, bourbon. This is Wild Turkey 101 bourbon. Very cost effective, like $21, $22, uh, 101 proof. You can't go wrong with uh, a little bit of wild turkey. Um, and because some of the drinks that I'm planning to make call for rye whiskey, I also got the wild turkey 101 rye whiskey bottle. 
This is, I believe, a couple more bucks at like 23, 24. And obviously the prices will range in your area. Um, the last spirit that I got was a bottle of gin. Now I didn't want to go for the normal clear gin. I will eventually get that. I wanted something a little bit more citrusy. So I got this old St. Pete sunset gin. Now, if you don't know, I grew up in the Pinellas County area where St. Petersburg is. And this sunset gin is infused with uh, Florida oranges and has that kind of like orange hue. So I got those three spirits. Um, and with the modifiers, with these spirits, I'm going to be able to make a ton of different drinks. So we are going to go over the modifiers that I bought. So first off, we got a bottle of sweet vermouth. That's a special, just Martini Rossi. There is another different sweet vermouth that I wanted to get. I think it's called Dolan. But I ended up, uh, you know, it's I'm starting off making cocktails at home. So I went for this because this is more affordable. Uh, and if you get vermouth, I suggest you get a small bottle because a small bottle will last you a long time unless you're making like sweet vermouth cocktails like on the regular. Um, and then I got all the bitters that you would normally get for um, cocktails. So you got your Angostor aromatic bitters. You've got your Angostor orange bitters. You've got your Peixades aromatic bitters. And then just a couple more things here and we will be at the end of this video. Now some of the cocktails I'll be making, you cannot have without a couple of ginger beer from Fever Tree. And club soda from Fever Tree. So yeah, um, that's all that I got from the store today. Um, that ranged around, I think I only spent like 20 bucks out of pocket just because I wanted to get some extra stuff. But, you know, like that's around $100, $120 for, um, you know, three spirits, club soda, ginger beer, sweet vermouth, three types of bitters. Yeah, that's it. So uh, thank you for coming along with me um, on my uh, creating my Cotterra Bar at home. And um, I hope that you decide to make your own cocktail bar at home. The uh, Cigar Advisors will be back to regular recording schedule once we are all 100% good. Um, and as you see, we have revamped our logos and intros. Um, it's something that we're planning to do every year um, once we, we start the new year. So I hope you enjoy the the new intros and logos will have new merch coming out soon uh, to correspond with all that stuff. And uh, yeah, this is John from the Cigar Advisors signing out. Looking for the ultimate resource to find the best cigar bars in your area? Want to hang out with the folks who have the same passion for cigars as you? Do you want to find a cigar lounge with like-minded individuals to relax, network, and get together with friends? This is what the Cigars Advisors are here for. 
a state-of-the-art platform that allows all cigar lovers to locate cigar lounges and bars. This is a place where everyone can come together, share their thoughts, and review their favorite cigar spots without any restrictions. Find your new favorite cigar lounge now by visiting thecigaradvisor.com.